<clears throat> morning ladies and gentlemen aging and strong that's what this channel is all about I hope you're doing your your uh, workouts getting those in are very important especially as we age right but you all know about that hey guys today I want to talk a little bit about um, your uh, diet okay um, there's many, many diets out there, many, many, uh, so much information out there, but it boils down to this high protein, low carb, keto, uh, you have the paleo diet, you have the carnival, which is just all meat based diet, animal protein diet. Uh, then you have your regular, uh, you know, American uh, standard diet. Um, <clears throat> how has that been working out? Not very good. We have so much, so much obesity in this country. It's not even funny. Okay. You're, you're talking about 70%, 70% of the population in America is obese. And not only that, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of young folks are getting diabetes uh, all kinds of autoimmune diseases and things like that based on the standard American diet. And what is the um, uh, standard American diet? Mostly carbs, right? Whole wheat, that's what we've been told, you know, is the best for us. Whole wheat and vegetables and things of that nature, right? And eat less meat. And eggs have a lot of cholesterol and you know, meat too. So stay away from that. We're more sick than we've ever been, folks. So the bottom line is, as we age, okay, it's very, very important for us as an aging population to incorporate more protein in our diet, okay? Whether that be you choose to be a vegetarian or you choose to eat meat, we need more protein. But here's the catch. Animal protein is the most dense and has the most bioavailable uh, vitamins and minerals, okay? That's a fact, folks. Okay, that's not me my opinion that's a fact scientifically do the research eggs you eggs doesn't have all that cholesterol everybody's been talking about we our bodies produce cholesterol okay our bodies uh, produce cholesterol we need cholesterol <coughs> now what we don't need is sh sugar a bunch of sugar and stuff like that um, and that really consists of a diet high in carbohydrates so uh, getting back to the to the protein needs uh, if you're gonna be a vegetarian yeah you can be a vegetarian some people can thrive at being a vegetarian okay they can they can um, just genetically speaking they can but most people cannot and if you are a vegetarian, in order to get the protein that you need, you have to eat two, three times more, okay, uh, calories. That's just a fact. So what does that mean? It means you're going to gain some weight. Yeah, you can gain some weight because of that. So meat protein or animal protein is the best. Okay, the best source. That's that's just a fact. Whether you choose to be vegetarian or you choose to eat animal, that that's up to you. But I'm just stating the facts. So, what the recommendations are? Minimal recommendations for protein for um, for adults, and, and that's a the minimal amount is 0.8 percent. Okay, I mean, excuse me, 0.8 per kilogram. Okay, so that what that means is, is that that's the minimal amount that you can eat in order for you to to live a, let's say, disease free life. Okay, 
um, to to um, I wish I, I'm not a doctor so I'm not an expert in this field but I'm trying to explain what the best way that I can so basically the minimum amount is 0.8 grams per kilogram uh, per per body weight right so ideal body weight so if you're 180 then you probably want to eat about a, about 180 you can get away with less if you if you uh, do resistance training and you exercise and you, you can get away with less protein because uh, your body will be able to to break to uh, uh, synthesize that protein uh, better it, it you'll be able to absorb the protein a lot better as if you didn't exercise okay because you, you got muscle you know and and that breaks down uh, the protein and all that kind of stuff and 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 um, so you'll be able to do that but <clears throat> It's recommended if you do, uh, if you're older, to eat more protein. So I would suggest um, a gram, one gram per ideal, one kilogram per ideal body weight, right? So let's say you're, let's say you're overweight, okay? Let's say you're 200 pounds and your ideal weight is 175. Well, then eat 175 grams of protein. It can be done. Um, I myself have been trying to incorporate more protein into my diet. I'm trying to eat a better diet. I'm trying to eliminate a lot of carbs. Although I do eat some carbs, I eat anywhere between 50 to 100 grams of carbs uh, per day. Um, I try to get in at least 35 to 40 grams of protein per meal. Okay. To be honest with you, I'm probably eating a little under than what I want to. Um, I'm still experimenting. I'm still trying to, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically, it, it, meat is expensive, okay? So you, we, I'm trying to find the sales where I can buy, you know, the most meat and um, and I can incorporate it into my diet. But it, it, that's the challenge is, is, is the cost. But, hey hamburger meat is good um, you don't have to buy steaks you know t-bone steaks sirloin steaks or ribeye hamburger meat is great um, eggs is is eggs is a great source of protein and what I learned about eggs is um, eggs is six gram six yeah six grams of, of protein in eggs and what I learned about eggs is is the body will actually consume 50% of the protein in eggs where in meat you're going to you're going to absorb about 30%. Okay, so so you're getting more bang for your buck really with eggs, okay? Um So anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up. I'm I'm not an expert in this field. Everything I'm sharing with you, I'm learning myself. Do the research yourself. Um uh, Dr. Gabriel Lion is very good uh, talking about the aging population and how much your protein needs you, you, you should you should consume and things of that nature. She's very good. Um, I, I, I enjoy her a lot because to me she makes sense. Uh, she's not too far on the carnival side and she's not too far on the car carb side. She's kind of right in the middle there. Um, and it just makes more sense. And everybody's different, okay? You may be able to consume more carbs than myself, you know. Um, you may you may do better or less, you know. It just all depends. It's something you have to experiment with. And I'm doing the same myself. Uh, but uh, it's very important. The bottom line, what I, the message that I'm trying to get across here is as we age, we need more protein. Whether that be animal or vegetable protein plant-based okay just know if you're going to do the plant-based diet okay you're going to have to eat more okay and that means more calories and you're not getting all the 20 amino acids or the nine essential amino amino acids in the plant-based diet than you would if you had the animal-based diet okay that's just the that's just the bottom line um 
you can you can supplement like whey protein or, 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 or uh, things of that nature would probably be the best uh, but if you don't eat animal then you're gonna have to go with pea or whatever else you know kind of supplements they have out there protein um, uh, shakes they have out there um, I hope you guys got you know you get it you get the message here what I'm trying to convey across to you all is more protein um, uh, do your research, guys. Don't just take my word for it. I'm experimenting myself. I'm learning as I'm as I'm going as well as far as the diet is concerned. Um, you have any questions? You have any concerns? Please, you know, comment and and I'll get back with you and and answer as soon as possible. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm trying to build this community, guys, for you. Uh, I'm really, I, as I said before, I'm very passionate about this, and um, it's very, very critical that as we age, that we do the resistance exercise, uh, you know, the strength training, and, and we get our diets right, guys. Um, so if you like what what I'm what I'm talking about here, please go ahead again, hit the like button, and. Um, and uh, any comments or concerns, or questions or concerns, go ahead and comment. And guys, you have a great day. Peace out.